Eureka Town Hall. Hey, let me talk to that brown shirted thug you guys call a prosecutor. Um, and why should I comply when you're being so rude? How do these calls make you feel? Excuse me? How do these calls make you feel? Angry. Why? Is this you again? Oh, is you it? You need to stop calling here. We will trace your... You will what? You're going to trace... Go ahead, trace me. Do, do your worst. Stop calling here. No, absolutely not. You work for the people. You're a criminal, ma'am. What are we doing? Montana mountain man Ernie Wayne was just arrested and dragged out of court at his own trial in Montana. And we have this amazing footage. John Lamb was actually reporting on scene and he has this footage from this two bit podunk courtroom where this blue ISIS thug of a judge has him taken for contempt for asking questions at, at his own jury trial. What's the heinous crime that he's charged with? The heinous crime he's charged with was living off the land. That's how he lives, like fishing and driving without a license. They have him dragged out of courtroom, but it gets better as the thug brown shirt prosecutor steps up to the locals who are saying, no, this isn't right, and starts threatening the locals if they intervene it gets worse. They proceed with the trial without the defendant, without any representation for the defendant. Proceed to pick a jury, carry on a trial, and convict him when he's not even in the room or even has representation in the room. And the very cop that had just drug him out of the courtroom was the witness against him. Guys, there's no law. The crooked blue ISIS Judges and their thuggish prosecutors and enforcer Gestapo police do whatever they want. And until people step up and stop them, until people give them the due process, they have denied universally to us as they fill the for-profit prisons. Let's call. Let's call and see if we can talk to these to these psychopaths. And let's watch the video that John got from the courtroom. Mr. Trafalgar, we are done. You're done speaking with no, me. No, I'm not done. I'm not done speaking. No, sir, you are. We have miles to go. And, and if, if you, you have me arrested out of this court, contempt. I will not be abandoning the field of bed. You're on. I have sin. Mr. Avery, can you? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm sorry, I'm going to have Mr. Avery take you back to the jury room. I'm holding Mr. Tertalga in contempt. If you fall for this, you sabotage yourself. What is done to you, what is done to me, is done to you. Yeah. We must stand. We must stand and listen to him and fight for our constitution, which is being stolen. Sir, you can proceed. I will also hold you to You were warned twice, Mr. Tertullian. I don't hear about you. Mr. Tertullian, you were warned twice. 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 You're in contempt of law. I'm standing for the Constitution by people. Okay, sorry, I just have to stop you for just a second. You see this officer coming in over here. All right, this is the original arresting officer that charged this guy with the fake crime of what, traveling and fishing? Okay, this is also the star and only witness for the prosecution. He also happens to be the bailiff, and he's also the officer walking in to arrest the defendant, drag him by force from his own trial for questioning in a way that the judge doesn't like and removing him from his trial, thereby allowing him to be convicted in absentia, no ability for any due process, any calling of witnesses, any presentation of evidence, any cross-examination, nothing. And so this guy, this, this thug is in the courtroom and, and he gets from one chair and now he's the witness and he gets to another chair and now he's the bailiff. This is like some kind of a Looney Tunes cartoon or something, except for this is, this is our country. And I'm not keeping your hands off me, Clay. I'm private property. If you interfere, you're going to let off me. Do we understand? Keep your hands off of me. Keep your hands off of me. Keep your hands off of me. Clayton Hodge, you are guilty of conducting a military crime on Mark Ward. I'm an officer. Don't hurt him. 
what are we doing? Back off. Leave me alone, boy. This man. Leave me alone. Deserve this. Leave me alone. Awful, unconstitutional. He made his choice. Leave me alone, boy. I have done no wrong, Jerry. Why has no one been able to tell him as long as he's not doing me hard? Why has no one been able to tell him what wrong he's Back off! Are you, you getting in it? it? I'm backing off to respect me. No one has ever answered the jurisdictional issue, friend. Listen, you're going under arrest. Stop it. You live here. This is martial law. This is unconstitutional. Our freedom is being stolen. No, this is slavery. We're being pushed off this land. I'm going to sanction contempt as well. Why should I put my hands behind my back? You don't get wrong. Listen, I'm afraid you're going to break my wrists and damage my shoulders. I am an aging fellow with injuries. I understand I'm asking for it. Put your hand back. When I comply, it will not be because contract is established. Can you comprehend that? And when I comply, I'm not establishing contract. Let me. Let me ask the man that be able to speak. I gave you my hands behind my back. a definition of man or something. What are you doing, Rob? I'm complying under force of the Madison Court. Because he asked a question. And he wanted an answer. That was it. That's all that you're, he did wrong. Your Honor, can I ask a question without getting the hands part? I just have a question. You can have a question. You can answer it. Uh, all right. I stand on a solid foundation being my Constitution and my Bible. You people which I remove my materials. I love my country and I love my freedom. We will. And I want to live freely and unencumbered, I want to preserve my constitution. What is your question, sir? My question is, is what did Ernie do wrong? What did he do wrong? He's not following the procedure in this. Lord has no jurisdiction. What are the procedures to follow? The procedures? The court has no jurisdiction. This court has never answered for one thing. Follow the procedures for selecting your jurisdiction. You continue to speak. You continue to speak. You the court. Put your hands and underneath my armpits. <laughs> okay. At the very least, the common rules and of being <sighs> civil in a civil society. Can we can we hold that officer as 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 Remove my material materials. Now? All so, these people hey, officer, here. No, you don't listen. Don't. All these people remove my materials. Get my hat. My constitution. So, you don't follow. You're not going back there for a step closer to the judge. I was grabbing his hat. Okay. Thank I'm you. Isn't jurisdiction a question to be raised at any level of proceeding? No. Jurisdiction in a criminal case has to be raised before. Any, le criminal. any level of proceeding. Thanks, and have once the challenge, it has to be <coughs> proven. What, what are you wrong? Why are you guys... We answered your question. Questions. If he would follow the procedures, which he was discussed with prior. Important to note that when a judge in a U.S. court or one of their sympathizers says follow the procedures, obey the rules, what they mean by those rules is don't defend yourself, don't get witnesses, don't present evidence, don't actually get a legitimate jury of your peers, just get convicted. That's the procedure. And he didn't. You guys just arrested a man trying to fight for our freedom. No, I arrested a man who wouldn't be quiet and follow the procedures. But you didn't, you didn't establish jurisdiction once, it, once he challenged your jurisdiction. Mr. Cherry, jurisdiction had been established at his first two hearings. We're not talking about no, the past, we're talking about present. Was. Mr. Cherry was <clears throat> talking about the past. I was talking about today. He challenged your jurisdiction, which can be raised at any level of proceedings. And it had already been raised in his proceedings twice. <laughs> Oh. May I come forward and pick the book off the court? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to stay. We will try Mr. Tatalga in abstention. You're welcome to stay. Um, are we welcome to speak on his behalf? No. Why not? We live in America that we are supposed to... Right. See, the government is to be it's governed by whom? Yes. Can I, can I, I, I must ask a question, which I want answered You're in a not very... Him what? Himself. The government is to be governed by whom? Do you know the government... Yes. This is in the Constitution. Uh -huh. The government is to be governed by whom? I'm, I'm asking the judge. I'm, I'm asking you, please. The government is to be governed by whom? Okay. Do you know the answer to this? It's in the Constitution. You raised your right hand and, and took an oath to uphold the Constitution. 
Will the hearing continue or the trial continue today? The trial will, be continue, will continue today, yes. It will, okay. With, without him here? Yes. Now, can I ask one thing? Because we, we raised, when I say we, I mean, I know you should, you're, you're commanded to know the Constitution. Did you or did you not raise the right hand and swear to uphold the Constitution, not just of Montana, but the Supreme Law of the Land, the United States of America? Did you or did you not? Yes. yes. So my question is, do we or do we not read within this Constitution the government is to be governed by whom? By the people. By we the people. Yes, it is. I am we the people along with others here. Mm -hmm. And we are standing on this foundation trying to resolve what has been lost, what is what has just been blown apart by unlawful people enforcing unlawful color laws which they don't have jurisdiction to do. There is no laws that are to overwrite and overrule the Constitution of the United States of America. And that's exactly what's happening. We can't even defend ourselves. We come in here trying to express and trying to, you know, you know, tell the jurors what's going on because they've been brainwashed, they've been manipulated by the mass media, by, by all these uh, corrupt politicians. And I'm, I'm sorry when I say corrupt, I'm, I'm saying this because I have a love for my country. I have a passion to defend what my great-grandfather shed blood for, our freedom our God-given inherent rights of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, Ernie Turtle Gates was trying to express one thing and one thing only. We have a right to travel freely from point A to point B unencumbered, and that right is being stolen every single day. Judge, if I could, this is it? not a political forum for discussion. There are issues that are being raised by the gentleman or more appropriately addressed in the legislature. This is the executive, and it is enforcement of laws as adopted by the people who were elected by Well, the I don't object, object to that. So we're on record. There's no objections here. I'm well, giving, well, I'm well, giving, well, give me the same courtesy I just gave you, okay? I understand exactly what you're talking about. I am not only an attorney, I have a degree in what you are arguing, in political sciences, well, which covers the U.S. Constitution forward, backwards, and sideways. Does that so I understand you have a different point of view. You would like to see a different set of laws be applied. The place to do that is Helen. No, it's because, right here. No, we're, we're, we're facing what's going on with this is, right now. This is a court of... <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. we're in totally disagreement with you. Gentlemen, we're going to proceed. You can argue. Um, under you can stay here and watch. You will not be allowed to comment. Or you're free to go. Try to try to distance you. Yes, he's going to be trying. To we, the jury, having been duly impaneled and sworn to hear and try the above entitled criminal case, now make known in open court our verdict as to the charges to the complaint charging defendant with a violation of Montana Code Annotated 61-11-212, driving while suspended, a misdemeanor. We find the defendant guilty. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, thank you very much for your service. You are excused. Who am I speaking with? I'm Gavin, but I have a question for you. Why do you work with thugs and criminals? I don't understand why, why you do work. Why do I work with thugs and criminals? Excuse me. You work. You work for terrorists. This judge, this prosecutor. I you work guys, for ter you no, guys I are abusing people. You're human traffickers abusing people for profit I'm, and violating I'm, their rights, and that I, makes I, you I complicit. You need to take this up with somebody else. No, I need to take it with you because you are Blue ISIS because you work and support Blue ISIS. That makes you complicit Blue, with terrorists, ma'am. Excuse me, Blue ISIS? Blue, I'm Blue, not sure even what that is. Blue ISIS is the name for the terrorist crime syndicate of cops and judges and prosecutors and for-profit prisons that you participate in. And there will be accountability for the participation in those crimes. Do you remember the Nuremberg trials, okay. ma'am? No, I don't. Do you know what happened in the Nuremberg trials? No. Hello, this is Judge Langston. This is, this is the judge? Yes, it is. The, judge Langston? Yes. So you're one of the thugs that just arrested Ernie Wayne. And who, who am I speaking with? 
You don't need to know who you're speaking with. I want to know who that brown-shirted, blue ISIS thug is that was in there with his smug look helping abuse that man. And I want to know why you stood by and let it happen and then had a trial in absentia, which is a complete violation of both the laws of the state of Montana and the U.S. Constitution. Sir, if you disagree with the laws, you're more than welcome to take it up. Man, this isn't a matter of disagreeing. This is a matter of the justice and due process that's going to come upon you for your violation of other people's rights. Because we're not a thug like you and your friends. Justice will come, and we don't... People that love liberty don't deny due process. So thankfully, we won't treat you like you and your blue ISIS terrorist goons treat other people. But I want some explanation from you. How do you plead, ma'am? Because the charges against you are deprivation of rights under color of law, 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242. The charges against you are violating the, the codes, laws, and human rights of the state of Montana, as well as the federal statutes of the U.S. Constitution. So how do you plead? Sir, if you're quoting uh, Montana state law, you would know that you can't take a plea over the phone, and I do have the right to face my accusers. So if you would like to come here, that would be fine. People would happily Otherwise, come there if, if the goons holding you. the guns to our heads. Day. I'll call back if you want to keep talking about this, or we can finish the conversation, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. I still didn't get the question answered of who was that man in the brown coat in the courtroom with you? The, which, which man in the suit? Yeah, the brown shirt that was backing you up. Okay. There were two men in brown shirts. Are you talking about the attorney that was there? The man, in particular, the man with the brown suit and the dark, the, the reddish tie with the smug look on his face. Okay. That would be the prosecuting attorney for the town. Why is the prosecuting yeah. attorney in your town acting like a cop and enforcing uh, and preventing people from stopping your crimes against your community? I don't understand why you guys are behaving this way towards people. It's not human nature to just abuse people. What is wrong with you? Sir, you'd have to ask Mr. Hayden that. No, I'm asking Sorry, you. You're understand. the judge, and really, you're the most accountable in that courtroom for the thuggery that just took place. Why do you behave this way toward Were your you fellow in the man? Courtroom? What? Were you in the courtroom? The video's already on the internet, man. Everybody's seeing your behavior. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to go watch it. Thank you for calling, Gavin. You have a nice day. What about your actions? Uh, why should I comply when you're being so rude? I'm not being rude, man. I'm being very polite to you guys, considering that you're a terrorist organization. Oh, calling the judge and attorney thugs and whatnot is being polite? They are thugs, man. It's not impolite to tell people the uh, truth no, about not. the evil that and they represent. If you would like to call and be polite, then possibly... Ma'am, I'm being very polite to you. To help you. I right even now, called you ma'am. You are just being rude. I'm not being Every rude. Day, I'm uh, sick of you abusing people. How much more are you willing to take? Are you going to keep just lying down and saying, okay, I'll keep doing what I'm told. I'll keep doing what I'm told. We have to say no more. We have to walk away. We have to resist. We have to stand up. We have to speak out. We have to shame them. The loyalist crony buddies of the blue ISIS thugs saying they're the good guys. They're heroes. They put their lives on the line every time they don a uniform. These people and their cronies are the number one terrorists of the USA. It's time to stand up. It's time to resist. It's time to give them the due process that they denied to us. And whatever you have to do to stay out of their, their clutches and to not comply, whatever you have to do, do not walk in to that gas chamber.